Well, it's a little hard to see it here, but uh, as I move closer, you'll see that the, the FJ55 is on its side on a rotisserie. A rotisserie is much like you have uh, for a piece of uh, oh meat or chicken where you can spin it around, and that's what we have here. Sitting on a side, rolling, able to get to the underneath. We called the customer and suggested this, and he agreed, and uh, we're glad that we did it, mainly because we're finding a lot of interesting things. It's actually in very good shape underneath. Uh, a lot of the panels are, are decent. We've replaced a few of these mounts. Right here is one. Another one from the floor that we've done. You can see that there as well. However, what we're finding is this has been already been sandblasted, which is okay. We're going to continue with our sandblasting. You can see parts where it's underneath the... Uh, they had Linex. So what they did is they Linex this, and they did not prime it at all. They just went right from sandblast to Linex, which is a big no-no. Mainly because you get moisture that gets trapped in here after uh, sandblasting. It, it really isn't primed and epoxy primered so that it doesn't come back. Some of our earlier work. So, and here's our cross member in the back that we created. So, we're, we're in pretty nice shape here and we're glad we're taking it off. But uh, it was kind of interesting to pull off the Linux underneath here and we were able to peel it all off and shazam. We have sandblasted, unprimed metal, which, you know, down the road is going to be a problem, but not now that we're uh, able to access it, and then we're going to media blast it as well.